We're at TV Lines Comic Con Suite with the cast of The Passage. Welcome! Some Hi. of the cast of The Passage. You. Some of the cast of The Passage. So just quickly, briefly, if someone has not read Justin Cronin's novel, give me like a two second elevator, what is this? Sanaya, you look like you're ready to go. Oh! No. Oh. Oh. oh! Do you want to tag so, me? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Oh! Tell me. <laughs> 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 she does this all the time. By the way, you gotta like, give her context about that. About the time in, time out. Oh, so that's oh like yes, thing. that's a thing because you know he's Zach Morris. Of course. <laughs> Wait, no, who's Zach Morris? We don't know him. Oh, yeah. That's just Mark Paul. But you know, <laughs> my friend Zach Morris. You know, he's he's on vacation right now, mm -hmm. um, but he's um he's chilling. But he gave me the power so I can do time out and time in. <laughs> that's amazing. And, you know, time in. Time in. Okay, got it. Fantastic. Back to the show. Back to the show. <laughs> the show centers around a secret medical uh, organization called Project Noah that are working with a very dangerous virus to cure uh, infectious diseases like Ebola, mm -hmm. SARS, AIDS, cancer. Their test subjects have been death row inmates and it has not, they have not had the response that they would like. Um, so they try to go to younger and younger subjects mm -hmm. where my character is hired to bring in right. Amy Belafonte. Okay. Fantastic. Yes. And then I end up having like a father dollar relationship with Mark Paul and we're on the run. Did you have a donut before we did this commercial? Or this, uh, <laughs> Would you like this one? Interview? No. Can I offer, <laughs> can I offer donuts just, to anyone else? I'm just, I'm just always, I'm just, have so much energy. That's good. We're here. They're just like, <laughs> Grumpy old man. I love it. I love it. I love it. There you go. You guys, are the, you guys are the OGs. So the pilot opens with with your characters on a on a research yes, trip in Bolivia right. that goes very very awry. awry. So I play Dr. Jonas Lear, and uh, my best Kim friend. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's right. We're looking for the source of the virus. Uh, very excited because we're going to change the world and everything's going to be hunky dory. Mm -hmm. And then unfortunately, my best buddy here, you know, he runs. He gets too excited and he runs towards the thingy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found it, I found yeah, it. Don't go towards the light. Don't go there. I said, Tim, stop. <laughs> but yeah. he gets attacked and I think he's dead. Mm -hmm. And But miraculously, he comes back to life and he's certainly changed. Well, and we see very early in the pilot that one of the symptoms of being a viral is that you bleed from the mouth a bit. You seem to yeah. lose your teeth. They just fall out. You seem to out. lose your teeth. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, have you acquired a taste for the fake blood that it seems like you might have to be... What is the fake blood? What do they use? It's cornstarch. It's, it's, it's what? It's not fake. It's not. It's not. <laughs> he, he's a method. Oh I just took a very yeah, dark turn. Yeah, I go deep. He goes. Deep. Uh, it's I, real. I think I will acquire more of a taste for it as it goes on. <laughs> yeah. Brad um, and Amy, as you said, get a very close relationship very quickly. Yes. Why do you think he, she trusts him so easily, given that she doesn't really know him? Well, she, the reason why she probably trusts him because she's never had a father figure in her life. So, to have a relationship and have like a man in her life, it's different, it's new to her. And she needs someone to protect her, really. So when she finds him, it's more like, at first you can tell she's like getting used to, but when it really happens, she's like, I have no one else to trust. So mm -hmm. you're here, I'm here for you, you're here for me. So if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this together. The man we meet in the pilot is maybe not the man he was five years ago. No. Um, talk to me a little bit about conversations you've had with the producers about how much of his backstory will unfold over the course of the season. I've been told we'll, we'll have flashbacks of, of Brad's past and why his relationship with Lila, his ex-wife, who we see in the pilot, uh, played by Emmanuel Chiriki. Mm -hmm. um, but we will see what led to the current state of Brad. The story that you guys have all um, started out on is uh, the books, there's three books, yes. and even in the first one there's a 93 year time jump. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you had, I know you're not going to tell me how, when, or where, all of that, but have you had talks with the producers about the pacing, how much of the book we're going to cover in the first season, anything like that? Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, we old. have. Just, just to let you know, I get I, really old. I'm really old. Age older than these guys. Yeah. I've heard there's 400-year-old <laughs> Amy. Grumpier. Awesome. <laughs> I've heard there's a possibility we may see the future towards the end of the first season. Okay. Fans of the books, mm -hmm. the Peter, Alicia, the um, the colony, and, and the colony. colony yeah. Mm -hmm. 
it opens up to that. The Sister Lacey character in the book, who is kind of a, a female companion mm -hmm. with Brad, I'm wondering if there's any, any, if you have any idea of whether there will be a, a lady in, in the Amy Brad mix. It might not be Sister Lacey, but you can tell that there's going to be some other. You could say mother figure. Okay. Coming. So fans of the book will appreciate that. Yes, there will be a lacy character. There we go. Okay. Thank you. That was very well handled. <laughs> I can't. I can't say whether or not she will be the lacy from the book, but there is a there is a individual okay. that yes. comes into our lives that is lacy. The book is real no. pop. I mean, it's so popular. It has so many fans. Have you heard from fans on social media or in interactions about what they want or what they think or any of yes. that? I can't imagine that Twitter uh, is not letting you know something. Because it's Twitter, right? So everybody has their opinion, which <laughs> right. you have to yeah, kind of read with. Uh, uh, sort Tell of me one, good things. I've only heard. Um, I love the book. Can't wait to see the show. Yeah. That's all I've heard. You know, everyone has their take so, of yeah. what they yeah. thought these characters look like mm -hmm. when you're reading the book, mm -hmm. but. I mean, I think we're, as, as a fan myself of the books, I think we all are, mm -hmm. uh, I think we've done a really good job of preserving the property and I think everyone will be happy with what we're trying to accomplish, at yeah, least. Well, I hope they really like it. Justin it's, Cronin likes it. I know that he wrote the book because his daughter wanted a story that where yeah. the, the a girl saves the world. Mm -hmm. That's Alicia. Alicia. That's a bit of a, a little bit of pressure when you're cast as the girl who might save the world. We have the whole world relying on this one little girl, but um, it's also extraordinary how this one person can cure so much so many people mm -hmm. and he told me about you know his daughter and how she wanted to have a girl one day save the world and you know being that Amy's a little different and stuff he was just like he was like I don't it doesn't matter about who you are what you look like it's just as well as long as I have Amy he says you remind me of my daughter because he's like the connection, what you have with Mark Paul and everybody on the set, and then how you act, and this is Amy, you are Amy. So it was like, I want you to meet my daughter. Like, my daughter is really proud, and I'm like, that's great. Wow. So it's, it's, that's why I'm really honored to be able to play Amy.